Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your weekly angel forecast for the week of September 14th through the 20th. This is a universal forecast, so it is for everyone that is watching this, not specific for the zodiac signs. So this week, I'm excited because I'm going to be using a deck that I don't use um, very often, or I haven't used in a little while, and that is this deck. And this is the Animal Wisdom Circle. This is a friend of mine, Dr. Kara Gubbin. Uh, who I did the Intuitive Tuesday series with that created this deck. And this might be an older version of the deck because I got um, I, I got the deck when she first did it. I think she's got a newer version that's out now. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that is something that you can get, I believe, on her website, animalwisdomcircle.com. Uh, and again, I don't have, you know, don't get any money for that or anything like that. It's just... I enjoy the deck and so I wanted to share it with you and lots of times people ask where's that deck from right and this is a little different unusual one so uh, I'm going to be using that deck to give you some guidance for the week and then I also have your theme which I will share with you right now uh, so your theme for this week is the ton of water water cards are all about the depth of emotion and uh, things bubbling uh, to the surface, right? And this particular card is a great one because it is about feeling content with your family, with your um, partner oftentimes. And there's that um, energy of having relationships that you can trust, right? Um, so whether that be friends or um, family or, you know, obviously your spouse, partner, that type of thing. Uh, there is that energy of having relationships that you can trust and it's also about feeling like you're taken care of right feeling like your needs are being met and that's a, um, a beautiful energy too uh, so I love that ton of water for you guys for this week for all of us for this week and let's see what the animals have to share with us Notice some of these that are upside down must have been the last time I used them. I had flipped them a bit. Okay. Ooh, interesting. And and it's so funny because the the initials um, when I first looked at it, it looked like ooh o o h. It's, it's actually o q h. Um, it's um, otter, quail, and hawk are the energies that are coming in um, for you. So otter is the first energy that's coming in for you this week. And this is about enjoying the moment, right? So being really present and uh, really tapping into what is making you feel good this week right? Follow that. Um, do those things that light you up. Do those things that make you feel good. Look at that cute little face and that otter. Isn't that cute? Um, and it's about, uh, about being not only present, but appreciating every moment that you have. Uh, so often I think we're rushing from one thing to the next and we don't stop to really appreciate what's happening right now, right here in this moment, right? And so I'm gonna stop and appreciate all of you for watching this video, right? And for connecting with me in this way, even though I can't see you or hear you when I'm shooting this video, I do feel your energy and I feel that connection. So I wanna express gratitude for you guys for um, being here with me on my channel and watching this video, wherever you might be seeing it, right? Okay. Then we've got the quail coming in. Um, so the quail is an interesting energy. It's kind of a, uh, a, a mixed bag, if you will, right? So we have contrast. So we have darkness and light. So you're going to see that this week. You might get some clarity through contrast. So you might have some things that come up that don't maybe resonate with you some things that you're like oh that's not what i want right and so that contrast though brings you clarity without the dark you can't see the light okay so there's that that energy as well um coming in for you and um sometimes we are in a space of like spreading our spells too thin and what they mean by this is 
uh, energetically, uh, we have a certain bandwidth, okay? And if we are um, giving too much or putting too much of our energy out to too many different things, uh, we can't do a good job with any one of those things, right? So it really is about focus and it's about making sure that you're filling your cup back up, right? So if you're giving a lot, making sure that you're, you are taking care of yourself a lot as well, right? And that devotion to routine can be something that comes up for this as well. So be very, um, devoted to doing your daily meditation, to taking your daily walks, whatever it is for you that is your daily thing, right? Um, that is what you need to focus on this week. Okay. And then we have, so speaking of focus, um, we also have the hawk coming in for you. And the hawk, of course, is about um, focus, right? Hawks are very focused on what they're, they're going for, right? And so this is about being single-minded. So it's not about splitting your energy in a lot of different places. It is about being single-minded. And um, there's this also energy of not getting sort of emotionally wrapped up in things. Um, and so sometimes that can happen if there's particularly a lot going on in the world that you get sort of caught up in other people's emotions. Um, and so uh, it doesn't mean that you don't feel this unemotional energy is not about not feeling. It's about not getting caught up in other people's feelings, right? And uh, so when we can take a step back and be the observer, and not get like our pain body, as Eckhart Tolle would say, involved, right? We can actually see things a lot clearer and be able to take action. Uh, there is an energy of needing to, to have some patience uh, this week as well. Um, so again, it's not about rushing in. It is about taking your time, focusing on one thing at a time. So Love this message for you guys. Have an amazing week. Much love and aloha.